Don't forget, I'm doing a giveaway currently. You can win by clipping something from my stream, posting it in Discord, and then you're eligible to win RP, okay? Anyway. Yo, Waka Flaka here with a short video on level one all lanes, which lanes you can win, etc. Because I had the guy yesterday come by my stream after watching the gameplay video that I uploaded and asked about the level ones, which matchups I beat and why and how, and which ones are difficult and which ones you can't do it against. So I'm gonna use this video here as an example, which is the game from yesterday. I was planning on uploading the entire thing, but I was really tired yesterday and I played extremely bad. And even prior to the start here, you can see that I'm barely paying attention. I was falling asleep and my brain was just completely shut off. Anyway, we still managed to execute this and we won the game, so that's okay. Also, I'm uploading these short ones now because I'm currently working on two videos, one being 98 Tech and one being uh, Simulation Craft, where I'm gonna try and make a bit fun. Uh, certain people like LS and make their video more interesting as opposed to just numbers and talking. So that's obviously going to take a while. So meanwhile, I'm just uploading this and perhaps going to upload some of ones. But 98 Tech 1 should come in not too long. Okay. Anyway, I'm playing Lulu Twitch now. I understand that I played Yumi Twitch last time and I'm going to expand on that and also help you guys view this in a different perspective as opposed to just playing the matchup, okay? And by playing the matchup, I mean playing Twitch Yumi. I'm telling you guys now how to play against it and why you need to do certain things. And yeah, that's it. Also note, don't drink soda or something before you're going to make videos like this because you're going <laughs> to, what the burp? So yeah, okay. Anyway, I'll play the video first. Uh, I'll basically say what to do in this game here. I'm telling my duo what I want him to do. And I'm also at the start here, we'll see. I'll just play the first bit now. Chris has exhaust. Nice. Epic night. They have no heal. Right? So the first thing I do is I look at the summoners. That's very important. You need to know what you're dealing with, how to play it, right? So if they have heal as an example, then we want to ignite. And as a correction to yesterday, I talked about cleansing the ignite so you can get the full heal. And someone corrected me yesterday in the video, and I wasn't actually very aware of this. But if you cleanse the ignite, you'll still have the healing debuff. So if you are cleansing the Ignite to get healed for full HP, it's not going to work. I wasn't aware of this. I haven't played too much with Cleanse. And this, I just anticipated the thought that removing Ignite would remove the debuff. But to my surprise, it doesn't. And that just shows how intricate and detailed and like how many things are in League, right? And it's even for like better players, it's hard to pay attention to everything, which is why it's sometimes just good to just keep short ideas of certain things, right? You don't have to memorize everything. The most important thing is that you know something about everything, right? But yeah, I checked the summoners, okay? They don't have heal. That just means that we are dealing with cleanse. So it's not really free battle summoners. Like they would have heal as a battle summoner as opposed to a cleanse, which is more like a defensive one, okay? And I'm gonna play it forward now. Hopefully it's gonna go here. Sorry for the silence. We can win the level one, but you need to jump in auto. You need to auto. And get the spells or like something and then pull out and then I can go in and then when they start going me, we can go. Like that, yeah. Night. Right, so I said Ignite, even though you're used to the base start. That just shows how tired I am. I'm not really paying attention at all. Anyway, the base idea here, I'll go quickly through it, right? In this matchup, and then I'll expand, okay? First idea, I'm the one that will deal with the most damage. Okay, and I'm also the ADC, so I want to kill, okay? So the idea here, in this matchup, and in many others, the idea is that Lulu will go in and take the aggro, because what it means to take aggro is that you take damage, right? So when you lose more HP, so say if Lulu has 80% HP, and they've auto-attacked Lulu, that means they're swapping to me and trying to kill me. It's kind of wasting damage, because Lulu will die faster than me. So once they're invested on the target, they have to kind of commit to that target. They can't just swap to me, right? 
So by Lulu opening up here, it kind of forces them to go on Lulu. And uh, especially because it's Tristana, she will use the bomb. And that's what I want. I want Lulu to take the bomb, right? And then after that, Lulu can start pulling back. And when Lulu pulls back, I keep going, right? And as you'll see how we played this a bit badly, mostly my fault. Again, I wasn't really paying too much attention. I was very tired. You can see he ignited here, right? He runs away, I keep auto attacking. And now my lethal temper gets procced, I get more attack attacks off, right? So at this point we win, but you can see how tough it is to go through a um Tristana here when they have a Yumi, right? Because they have three summoners, etc. etc. Right? And that's basically how you play this in most cases. In all 1v1s, especially in the tough ones, you need the support to take the aggro. Basically, you need the support needs to make them be committed to the killing them, while you then get to attack them and kill them, right? And here comes the problem. If you swap this in reverse, right? Because as I said yesterday, the problem with most all-ins with Twitch Yumi is that when you go on the ADC to kill them, their support will then interrupt you, CC you, and take you off the target so you can't kill them. And Basically, what will happen here is what will happen then. If I'm Lulu in this example here, right? And I attack the ADC, or sorry, if the ADC is Lulu here, reversed, right? This would then be me, and I'm attacking the ADC. Then Leona would come here, and they would interrupt me, right? Or stun me, and then deal damage to me. And I wouldn't be able to get them off me. And then, after a bit, especially because they would have a CC, the ADC, being Lulu in this example here, wouldn't lose as much HP. So after a bit, when the sports engaged me, I will lose too much HP. And then the ADC will come back around again and attack. And that's why some matchups can't be 1v1 the early game. And some honorable mentions as to ADCs that are hard to all in, even if they don't have a tanky support or someone that can like stun you or get you off and uh, make your commitment to a champion off, like remove your aggro kind of off the champion, is someone like Tristana, because they will have too much damage. So if I go in with Twitch Yumi on a Tristana and they have any other support, they will deal too much damage for me to be able to handle by myself. And I would then need someone to take the aggro, right? Like we did here, right? Because Yumi can't really do that in this sense, because I will still have to walk up. And then that means that I'll already be in this aggro range, or they will be already like invested or have the idea to go on me. Right, so then the damage I will take, I will be the one that will take all the damage. And the only benefit we have then is that you make an auto attack. But since they're attacking me, they're going to be invested on me. Right, and I can't run away because I don't have anyone else that can stay then and fight and do what I'm doing here. Okay. And that's why you can't one me one certain things with Twitch Yumi. And again, how to play against it, if you're playing against Twitch Yumi as an example, right, it's important that you walk away with one person and then trade back and then continue going on the ADC, okay? And don't swap your aggro, okay? But you need to walk around also and swap aggro and make sure that they will damage one you low, like to half HP, and then that person will retreat and the other person will continue damaging the Twitch that has the Yumi with them, right? Because that's how you'll win. But if you both commit fully, you will probably lose because they have enough damage to kill one person, right? And then after it's a 2v1, and then you probably die too. And you won't be able to kill both, especially at level 1, because Yumi is still able to 1v1 most champions uh, at level 1, because you have equal HP and AD, so there's not really much of a difference there. And as I said, Yumi is equally as strong as most other champions at level 1 when it comes to auto attack and shit like that. So yeah, this is basically it. Most champions that can pull you off, it's harder to 1v1, but easy champions, okay? And again, Tristana had to go on because of the same reason. And also, Ash is a bit of a problem because she will slow you and you can't run away because she will just be able to catch up to you due to the fact that her auto attacks is slowing you a bit, okay? But this is something I recommend. You just try it, practice, practice, practice. And then you learn and understand why you can't do certain things. And if you're not playing Twitch Yumi and you're playing, as an example, Twitch Lulu, you may go on the ADC, even if they have a Lona, Tristana or something. But the Lulu then has to take the initial engage and then run away while you continue attacking the damage dealer. 
which is how you win most matchups level one, which is why Lulu Twitch is stronger level one than most matchups, because they can do stuff like this here, okay? And it's mostly, of course, because you're two ranged champions, and in certain cases you'll play against one melee, one ranged, so you do have the advantage level one, unless they do have some absurd spells that deal slow damage like Tristan or something, okay? So hey, you guys have lots of things to think about, and that's basically it. I hope you guys continue to have a good morning, evening, not which I want to fit shit like that. This has been a Waka Flaka how-to video kind of thing. Anyway, take care. Peace.